Now, we are going to also present the solution, the same solution. This time, we are going to bear the second scenario in mind, that goodwill is not to be maintained in the books. And so, we will close off the goodwill account and it will not appear as it has. And then we will see how it will affect the account as well. And so this is how we go by a situation where goodwill is to be maintained in the books. So you can look at it again. Okay, so we are now going to solve the same question again. But this time we are going to look at it from a situation where goodwill is not to be maintained in the books or goodwill is to be written off. And so this is how it's going to be. We are going to prepare the goodwill account again. This time we are going to write off goodwill from the books. And so we begin by the same way we'll say capitals and then we'll debit the goodwill of 50,000 but now we are going to still debit it by their old ratios and so I do enjoy half because the old ratios were to be shared equally so half of 50,000 which is going to be 25,000 and then Boateng will also enjoy half of 50,000 which is also going to be 25,000. This is how it was with the first scenario, and this is how it will begin with the second one. But now, because goodwill is to be written off, we cannot let a balance carry down be in the books because the balance carry down talks about the going concern. It means it's enhancing the going concern of the goodwill in the business. And so what we are going to do is that we have to let it cease and means that there should not be any balance carried down in the books. And so what we have to do is that once we've debited the goodwill account with 50,000, we should credit the goodwill account with the same 15,000. Sorry, 50,000. So we credit the goodwill account with the same 50,000 to write that off. But when we were debiting, we shared in their old ratios. But now we are going to share in the new profit and loss sharing ratios. So that is how it's going to be. So watch how it's going to be. The new, that is also going to go into a capital house. Now, the new ratios was 4 is to 4 is to 2. And that makes the total ratio 10. And so this time, it involves the new partner. So a do is going to have 4 over 10 times 50,000. 4 over 10 times 50,000, which is going to give us 20,000. And then Boateng, who is an old partner, is also going to enjoy 4 over 10 times 50,000, which is also going to be 20,000. And then the new partner, Collins, will now be introduced into the Goodwill account. And her fraction is 2 over 10 times the same 50,000, which is going to be 10,000. So when you add the two sides up, 25, 25 will give you 50,000. This three will also sum up to the same 50,000. And so you just close off this Goodwill account 50,000 each, no balance carried down. And that will be the end of goodwill in the books. Because there is no balance carried down, it will not appear anywhere. But it has an effect. And what the effect is going to have? You realize that when we go to the capital account, we are going to credit these ones, and then we are going to debit these ones. Now, when your capital account is being debited, it means you are, you are losing. And so what is going to happen is that Edu is gaining 25,000 from goodwill and then losing 20,000. Boatin is gaining 25,000, and Boatin is losing 20,000. And in effect, there is a net gain of 5,000 each for both of them. Then Collins is losing 10,000 without gaining anything. That is the price he has to pay for the goodwill he is coming to enjoy that he did not labor for. And so this 5,000 net that they are both going to enjoy is going to be paid off by Collins. Let us watch how it will look like in the capital account. And so we come straight into our capital accounts. We begin with their opening capital balances. So the balance brought forward for each of them. Edu had 80,000 in the capital account and then Boateng had 60,000. Okay, now let's look at goodwill. We'll come to the credit side and say goodwill. Now goodwill will be 25,000 for Edu and then 25,000 for Boatin because every debit entry should have a corresponding credit entry. And so the ones that are on the credit side in the Goodwill account will now appear on the debit side. And so we'll still say Goodwill on the debit side and a do 
will now have 20,000 on the debits and then 20,000 for callings and then, hey, sorry, for Boateng and 10,000 for callings. Who is the new partner? So this is how the Goodwill account is going to look like and this is how it's going to be transferred into the capital accounts. And so we now, we can now continue with any other thing. The rest that we are going to do is the same as we did for the first scenario. The only change is the way Goodwill is treated. And that means that it's not going to appear in the books again. And so we will now continue. Now, callings coming in came in with a capital in, in the form of cash of 55000 And I think that is all for the partner's capital accounts. And so we can now close off the partner's capital accounts. Okay, so now Edu has a total of 105 on the credit side, and then Boatin has 85,000, and Collins has 55,000, just like the first scenario. But then, when we come to their balances carried down, it's not going to be the same as the first scenario where Goodwill was maintained in the books. Now, Goodwill, because of the goodwill that we debited, it is reducing their balances. And so the new balance carried down will be 85,000 for Edu, will be 65,000 for Boatin, and then 45,000 for Collins. And so the balances carried down or brought down on their capital accounts are now 85,000, 65,000, and then 45,000. Now, let us try and do some quick analysis. Now, take note. You do re realize that Edu had 80,000 as capital. Boateng had 60,000. And Collins brought in 55,000. So, what has changed? Do you see that now Edu is getting a capital balance of 85,000, but he did not bring in any additional capital? All that has happened is that there is a net gain of 5,000 that has been added to his capital. He's, he's getting a new 5,000 as a result of the goodwill. Then Boatin is also gaining an extra 5,000 on the 60,000. Now his capital balance is 65,000. Collins brought in capital of 55,000. But we are saying that his new capital balance is 45,000. What has happened to the money that he brought? We are taking 10,000 off to pay the old partners because of the goodwill that they have suffered for. So even though goodwill is not to be maintained in the books, now in the first scenario, when we shared, the old partners took the 25-25. They did not give any to the new partner. But in this scenario, because goodwill is not to, supposed to be maintained in the books, we are taking 10,000 from Collins and paying it. So it's like the 10,000 has been taken from Collins' account and has been shared 5,000 each for Edu and Boateng. And that is the effect of the goodwill that he's coming to enjoy. And so now his capital has reduced and Edu and Boateng's capital has gone up. That is the effect of the goodwill when goodwill is not supposed to be maintained in the books. So it, it will still have an effect on their capital balances. Okay, so we can now proceed to prepare our statement of financial position to reflect the admission. So I will say statement of financial position. Assets, 1st January 2019. Okay, so I'll begin with the non current assets. Now, with the non current assets, this time around there will be no goodwill. Goodwill has been written off. So it will not appear again in the non-current asset. And so we'll just repeat the old non-current asset that we have from the question, which is 75,000. And then we'll come straight to our current assets. And then with the current assets, we have inventory of 40,000, which was in the question. Nothing changed about that. And there was receivables of 25,000 also 
which also did not change. Then there was cash. Now, the cash was 15,000. But like I said, an extra cash of 55,000 was brought in by Collins. And so cash will now be 15,000 plus 55,000, giving us a total cash of 70,000. And so we add that up, and then we have 135,000 as our current assets total. So when we add that to the non-current assets, we have 210,000 as our total assets figure. So you see that the total asset figure has changed because Goodwill is not present. And then we can continue here and say equity and liabilities. Now, with the equity and liabilities, we begin with the capital balances. So for the capitals, a loose capital is now 85000 Boateng's capital is now 65,000. And then Collins. Collins' capital has reduced to 45,000. So when we add that up, we are getting a total capital of 195,000. 195,000. And then we will come to our current liabilities. And we had just one, the creditors figure or the payables. And so that is 15,000. So that is going to give us a total of 210,000 as total equity and liabilities. And still it has balanced. But you see that it has balanced now with different figures. The difference of 50,000 being the goodwill that we wrote off. And so this is how the scenario two is also going to look like where goodwill is to be written off from the books or not to be maintained in the books. So I'm sure you've been helped so much. If you have any question, you can still ask. You can make your comments down there in the comment section, and you can as well send us a WhatsApp message on the numbers that we've provided for you. Remember to subscribe to the channel, share this video, and let others also have a benefit. Together, we'll be successful. In our next video, we are going to look at revaluation of partners' assets and liabilities in the event of admission of a new partner. We are not done with admission of a partner. We are going to move forward and look at revaluation of assets and liabilities as well in our next video. Until we meet again next time, it is bye for now.